Hi, today we have a JFY in, uh, grid connected inverter. This model is a JSI 1500 TL. And you can see the alarm lights on constantly here, the red alarm light, and the green power light isn't on at all. And you can see the screen here, it's uh, the LCDs uh, playing up there. So this one isn't working at all at the moment. Now, if your JFY uh, inverter, it could be any JSI model, is coming up with a alarm light like this and there's nothing uh, totally blank on the screen, the first thing I'd recommend to do is try to reboot the system. It, it can be a bit like your computer. If your computer gets a glitch sometimes, a reboot is, a, is uh, something which might fix it. So it's always important if you are rebooting a system, uh, restarting a system, is to follow the shutdown procedure, which you should have somewhere, but it should pretty much be turning off a solar supply main switch, which will be located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator right here. Inverter AC isolator, so we just flick that off. And then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. That's on the left-hand side over here. So we just turn that off. And we'll let this system shut itself down. You'll see that light will go off in a moment. Now, if your JFY, JSI inverter is doing, uh, doing something like this, uh, it would be covered under the inverter warranty. So if it was installed within the last five years, it certainly should be covered under warranty. If you are trying to make a warranty claim, there are a couple of things that uh, it's important that you uh, know. One is the date of installation. They have some proof of, uh, proof of installation as well. And the other is the serial number of the inverter, which we can find here on the right hand side of the inverter. So you see there, this is a JFY inverter, and we've got the, um, the AC output of the inverter. So the JSI 1500 TL is a 1500 watt inverter, and we see the serial number down here. So it's always important to have the serial number. So look, we'll try and restart that system now. It never matters uh, the order to restart the system, so we're just going to turn on the AC, then we'll turn on the DC, and see what happens. Not much at the moment, by the looks of it. But we'll just wait a few moments and see if anything happens, but it's, it's certainly not looking good here. should be coming through a, a startup procedure and have a countdown but you see that's now gone back to the red alarm light with uh, the screen totally dead and so this is going to be an issue which is going to need to be uh, repaired under warranty so if your inverter like I said is is uh, still within the five-year warranty then JFY should they're usually quite good in getting their inverters repaired under warranty if it is outside of the warranty, what I'd recommend is replace the inverter with a good quality replacement unit. So look, uh, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. And uh, yeah, look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks very much.